All right, what's going on guys? Let's try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another Better Call Saul or Breaking Bad video. In this one I wanted to do, I want to compare the main protagonists for Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Who do I prefer as a lead? Walter White versus Jimmy McGill. Saul Goodman. And spoiler warning for this one if you are not caught up for both series. So, man, I wanted to do this one just kind of as fun because I've really been enjoying Better Call Saul Season 3. We're about halfway through it now, and they've hit us with some fire recently, bringing uh, Gus Fring back into the show, Hector, and, uh, you know, the cartel. Uh, also getting to see, finally, kind of the trial for Jimmy after what happened in uh, Season 2 of Better Call Saul. Really been enjoying the show. Uh, Breaking Bad is one of my all-time favorite series. I'd probably put it at number 3 for my third favorite television series of all time. Uh, Better Call Saul is not at that level yet. Um, is it possible it could eventually get there? Maybe, but I, it's, it's hard to say because it doesn't feel to me as epic as Breaking Bad did. Uh, the sense of danger isn't quite there. It's a different kind of type of show. It's kind of a more uh, lighter type of show, which is, uh, which is a nice change from Breaking Bad because Breaking Bad can get pretty intense at some parts and uh, pretty dark at others. Whereas I feel like Better Call Saul is not, is not quite as uh, as dangerous, not quite as um, uh, dark, and it doesn't have you know as many character deaths and things like that. It's a prequel, so it's like a beginning to type of deal. Um, so comparing both protagonists of two of my favorite series, uh, we'll start with Breaking Bad because Breaking Bad started first. So Walter White, I think, is one of the most interesting protagonists for a series uh, ever. Um, now, would you? Now that's a question. Technically, would you even consider him to be a protagonist because? He, at the beginning, he starts off as one, I would say, but clearly by the end, he's he's basically a villain. He kills several characters, some of which we've got to see more time with now in uh, Better Call Saul, and I feel even worse about what happens in Breaking Bad now after getting to spend more time with uh, Mike and Gus. Um, you know, people that, as Mike said, they had a really good thing going. It actually does seem like maybe they did. I mean, what they're doing obviously was not good, but uh, for Mike, I mean, you you can feel a lot of sympathy towards him that he was basically doing this to help his uh, his daughter-in-law and his granddaughter, uh, and that's why he got involved with this business to begin with at all was because they they were having trouble uh, making ends meet after what happened to his son and everything, and so he wanted to you know help be there for them, and uh, this is his way to uh, contribute. Uh, so this is how he kind of got into it. So um, you know Walter White he does by the end he becomes a full on um, drug lord villain character that ends up uh, you know going down with uh, <laughs> quite the fight uh, in quite the battle. His even at the end his family uh, for the most part hates him. Uh, his, his wife uh, Skyler you know she she can't even look at him she's disgusted by him his son even is kind of very confused about him and, and doesn't really I, I, I want to say you know obviously you lo you're going to love your dad no matter what but at the same time really kind of hate him too for the choices he's made and the things he does so as a lead let's say series lead instead of protagonist antagonist um as a lead character, Walter White is very interesting. You know, he starts off with a death sentence, and the things he does leading up to that are uh, pretty crazy, and, uh, you know, I don't think in the end worked out the way he wanted them to, uh, and the things that happen as a result of his actions probably weren't worth it, but god damn was it exciting to see him go down that path. And uh, at the end of Breaking Bad, the last two seasons there, Ozymandias and some of these episodes, I mean, Granite State and, and the, fi the finale, just what an incredible series was Breaking Bad. So as a lead, he was super, oh man, really, really interesting to see as a lead. And, um, you know, I really like the way they were able to get the viewer in his shoes and have it gradually, for the most part, makes sense to you what he's doing and his actions from his perspective seeming to be bad, but not breaking bad, but not like like just a jump. It seems like a pretty natural evolution of the character based on the circumstances throughout. So, um, man, he was a great he was a great lead for, for Breaking Bad. Uh, Brian Cranston, uh, just an amazing job. Uh, so let's go to Jimmy McGill. Let's go to Saul. Saul, good man. So, he's 
He's a really fun lead as well, too. And I liked him a lot in Breaking Bad as well. He's a supporting character. He's awesome in Breaking Bad. He's funny. He's got his own group of uh, his own group of, of misfits, so to speak, or characters, Huel and the others there, which is fun, too. And um, you know, I like how he kind of advises. He's, like, advising Walter because he's kind of, he knows he's kind of getting into the business. And he finds him at his school and that kind of stuff at the beginning of the first season. So he's, he's OG, too, right? You know, getting to see him. He's from, like, pretty much the beginning of Breaking that as well too in the very first season coming in there um but he's he's a different type of protagonist i think or, or lead he's a type of lead where i think he's a lot easier to like there's some people i guarantee you that don't like walter white because of the things he does and of course with mike and um dean norris's character uh uncle hank and even gus too and some of the others jesse and, and the others and what happens with them uh, I can see if a lot of people, you know, don't like Walter because the things he does hurt so many people. Whereas Jimmy, he does sometimes hurt people, but it's it's not life or death for the most part. At worst case scenario, it might be lawsuits or something like that, or public humiliation or whatever is kind of the thing he's into. So I think that Jimmy is more likable of a lead. He, he's more likable by himself, and uh, he's more kind of, he's definitely not a good guy either. He's kind of breaking bad as a lawyer too, like a crooked lawyer. I love that, where you, you see the uh, him walking and, and the the road is slanted uh and he's like well, yeah crooked lawyer uh you're not a real lawyer so he's he's really funny and i think that's the thing that that i like a lot about seeing jimmy i think he was more funny i would say in breaking bad than he is as his own lead in his own series but a lot of that i think is because of his supporting cast is probably not quite as good as Walter's supporting cast was in Breaking Bad. Jesse and also Jimmy as well, too, you know, Saul and uh, some of the others. It, you know, I think that it, when you look at his other supporting cast, you don't have as many people that are that funny. But they're starting to bring some of them in now, and it's getting better as the seasons uh, go on, or it's getting bad as the seasons go on. Um, so between the two, I'd say that in terms of likable, like who's more likable? I think Jimmy is, is more likable between the two, and he's a character that a lot more people can kind of relate to and kind of find humorous and can find more charismatic of a lead. So I do like Jimmy more as uh, as in terms of his qualities. Like I think he's more he's more likable than Walter is. But god damn, man, Walter's story in Breaking Bad, and to see him become the bad guy, stay out of my territory, and everybody when he walks with the guys, stay out of my territory. Uh, just, oh my God, man. It's just so intense. And the things that happened with him in Breaking Bad were so amazing that I have to say, out of the two, even though I like Jimmy better, it, Walt, getting to see Walter in Breaking Bad was, I mean, it was really incredible. And uh, kind of to see the, the, the demise of the character, I think, was really uh, brutal. And at the same time, like, just, oh man, pretty amazing. I'm in the Empire business. And just so many kind of legendary quotes from Breaking Bad that I would say that uh, he was, I think, he was better, you know, as a lead for, for a series, for what you want, to stir the pot, to have the drama, to have that sense of danger. Man, he was quite the lead, but I like Jimmy better. So, uh, yeah, there's kind of a versus comparison for me. I, I like Jimmy better, but Walter was, damn, he, he was more he was more interesting, I think, to watch. And, uh, you know, in terms of the series, to have a character that's that conflicted, I think, really... Um, you know, made it a super interesting watch, super dramatic, and just uh, very exciting all the way through to the end. So there's my kind of comparison video. I'll give you guys uh, my thoughts on another uh, Better Call Saul Breaking Bad comparison and comparing their leads. Uh, that's kind of how I'm feeling about it. You guys can write your comments below. Which lead do you like better, and which one did you find more fun to watch or more more exciting to watch? Which one got you more hype for a series as a lead for their respective uh, shows? I'm pretty much going to go with uh, Breaking Bad for this one as being like my favorite between the two shows, and uh, because it's just so interesting. But I'm going to go with uh, Jimmy because uh, you know at the same time because I liked him too, more likable I think than Walter, and, and a better. He's 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 not as bad <laughs> as, as Walter. Right? Right, uh, he's uh, you know he didn't he doesn't break bad to the same degree I'd say. So uh, that'll be it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think. You can write your comments below. Leave a comment on what your thoughts are. Remember, there's no right or wrong. It's a matter of opinion. Who did you find more likable, and uh, which series did you find uh, you know respective leads to be uh, better in and more more interesting, keep you glued more and more hype for the show. If you like this video, please thumb it up below. You can share, you can favorite. And if you're new and you want to subscribe, don't forget, guys, subscribe. Bottom left, appreciate it. And I'll see you guys soon for another video. As always, just. Trev. I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See you soon.